and I've been dealing with anxiety since I was about eight years old. And when I go back and I, and I was having anxiety attacks and uh, I couldn't breathe and my chest would feel like I was caving in. Former Eagle Marcus Smith opens up about his own mental health battle, a personal story, but his words are something that millions of people can relate to. The first week of October is recognized as Mental Illness Awareness Week. Well, the mental health crisis is certainly growing and taking a big toll on families these days. Marcus Smith was a big NFL star, but still suffered, and now he's on a mission to reduce the stigma. Sports Director Don Bell has his story. After the birds won Sunday, Jalen Hurts said, rain, sleet, or snow, the Eagles train to go. It's a great slogan made for t-shirts. It speaks to their toughness in a sport built for gladiators. But toughness comes in all different forms. Mental Health Awareness Week ends tomorrow, but former Eagles first round pick Marcus Smith has a story you need to hear. Here we are back at the link. You know, what do you think when you see this building? What comes back to you? I remember, man, the first time running out of the tunnel, man, and just the Philly fans and being in that atmosphere, man, is something that you can't describe. In 2014, Marcus Smith was seemingly on the top of the world. Build up the Eagles select Marcus Smith. A first round pick out of Louisville with millions scheduled to come his way. But money can't buy you mental health. And I've been dealing with anxiety since I was about eight years old. And when I go back and I, and I was having anxiety attacks and I uh, couldn't breathe and my chest would feel like I was caving in. Smith also silently dealt with depression and weight loss. You don't want to talk about those things in the locker room because you would be afraid of what your peers may think or you didn't want upstairs to, you know, where they, where they say have one up on you or, or think that you are, you know, mentally not tough enough to, to withstand football. Marcus traces his mental health struggles back to his childhood and watching his parents go through a divorce. But the game itself has left a mark. People don't really understand or really know the different traumas that we face on the field. Uh -oh. Think about how you feel as a player, like when this is somebody that you go to work with and go to battle with every day. That's like an Army veteran seeing one of their guys get hurt. It's the same exact thing. Smith only played 37 games with the Eagles before being released. After landing with the Seahawks, an aborted suicide attempt led him to professional help. At the time, his wife was seven months pregnant. It was a time where, you know, I was so far gone where I didn't think about my wife. I didn't, I didn't think about my daughter at the time and she was unborn and I would have definitely missed out on a, on a, a great human being who was, a, who was a part of me. That experience is what motivates Marcus to help others, especially players. I'm speaking truth um, when it comes to that because I don't want other players to have to deal with that and, and what I would have done differently is to you know have a team around me, have you know the therapist, have you know meditation work, have things around me that can help me get through those times. Marcus is just 30 years old and he's definitely found his purpose. He has a foundation and a podcast both called Circle of M, that's M as in Marcus. He uses both entities as a form of mental health care advocacy. I'm Don Bell for CBS3 Eyewitness Sports.